Hello everyone and welcome back to Ru uh, to Tales of Legendia. Last time we played we uh, we got called to the the lighthouse if I'm not mistaken. Well, so what what else did we do? Oh yeah, we ran away from the Mariness or Charlie, I guess. Which I I'm calling Mariness because for me, okay, I need to shut that one down. Please wait a second. But <coughs> I'm gonna be calling her Mary Ness instead of Charlie because for me at the moment uh, she behaves a bit too different for me to be really called Charlie for the moment. We'll see at the end if I'm my theory is correct or not. But we'll have to see about that, right? But anyway, something I wanted to say. Uh, some of you might already notice my voice. Is, I think is it, uh, I think is a tiny bit different. That's because I'm a bit sick at the moment, which is kind of annoying. Uh, but I think I can at least make some videos, uh, right? Uh, but anyway, we were called to the lighthouse, which has now been opened. So that's kind of nice. And let me see here. Is there everything okay that we have? We have bread. Tons of TP. Uh, oh, tons of TP. No, not. Tons of HP. Don't know why. Why did I pick HP so much? Why do I have five cheeseburgers with me? Man, I'm stupid. I don't even know if there are monsters in here or not. I'm gonna guess yes. The inside is rem reminiscent of the, the ruined frozen light and the legacy's bridge. It may have been constructed during the same era. Yeah, I think so too. The whole... What the shit? How did they know about that? <laughs> I thought it was just a fence. What's that noise? That tell me it's a trap. What? What's uh, Senel doing to Chloe there? I'm pretty sure that the Nether Dead is coming down and they're just flipping out, right? <coughs> okay. What's that sound? Sounds like water. It's like waves. It's calm and comforting. And everyone's asleep, what? <laughs> Except Calv of co uh Keith. Where are we? Uh, no idea, we're below. Are those waves? So I was right, waves. Well does Don't leave Green behind with Norma. I feel like I dreamed. I feel like like I dreamed I fell from a really high place. Yes, it sure is high. Right, wait, huh? Whoa. Whoa, tall. Yeah, high. Can also mean uh, tall, but anyway. <clears throat> the part above uh, that is amazing too. I feel like I can't. I can't really speak in high voices at the moment. Hmm. Eh? Eh? Wait, wait, wait a minute. What? What? Isn't this amazing? What the shit? That's a huge place below uh, just the, the beacon. Right? Wait, we are at a beach. Now we are at the beach. The sea. But there are hardly any waves. 
gonna taste it. Yeah, hair tasted it. Okay, that's definitely seawater. Isn't that a bit dangerous? Just drinking seawater. You don't know where that one has been. How can it be a, a, a sea disc? This uh, quiet. First time I've seen anything like this. The sound of the waves is so peaceful. You get so calm just sitting here listening to it. Hey guys, guys, check this out! So much for peaceful. Guys, this isn't the time to be gawking at the ocean. Don't you feel anything when you look at the scene here? She probably can't appreciate just uh, such things. Oh, whatever. Just listen to me. Look up. Look. Up. What the? The sky, it is... The sky is closed. Yeah, you blow deck, man. Now let us see this. The closed sky. That's kinda cool. L looks really like a holodeck kind of uh, thingy. Is this now the next area that I'm gonna be exploring? Or what the... Uh, what is happening? <gasps> now I understand. We are at... Oh, I get it. Why are you interrupting me for? This is a dream. We're all having the same dream, aren't we? And uh, no. Oh, of all the things you could have said. Jay, do you know where we are? Yes. We're deep beneath the legacy. Most likely directly beneath the lighthouse. So they do have elevators. Or or some t sword, I guess. Well, anyway, we came down here on some sort of elevator. Yeah, there's this huge tower n next to where we were sleeping. The tower must be the elevator. Hmm, I see. Still, I must say, this is quite a surprise. Yes, I never would have expected such a large underground cavern to exist. What? Mm -hmm. Why are you blinding your face for? Senel, is something wrong? Why is he... I probably got the runs. Hmm... Oh! Martin King! Demon Fist! Katonk! Wah! Coolidge, you can use Eris? What in the heck was that for? Sorry, I didn't think it would really come out. Oh, come on, man! <laughs> They're using him as a test. <laughs> They're gonna use him as a test subject. Oh, oh, let me try it too. Take that. Katunk. <laughs> well, he is the tank of the, the group after all, so he can take some hits. Oh, it's working again. <laughs> Not you two bubbles. Are you all trying to kill me or what? Hmm. Uh oh. 
Whoa, don't even think about it. If you want to test out your errors, put it somewhere else. Okay. Bev, Thunder. Majinken. I can also use Thunder? Didn't use that one yet. It's back, just like it was before. What's going on? Alright, time to show those sentinels who's boss. I can't say that one at the moment, so I'm gonna let him do that one. But that's kinda nice, they got the errors back again. Why is Grune just laying on the ground like that? Weird. Where did they run off to? It's been a while since he left. It's not good. As soon as I got up uh, back up there, my arrow stopped walking. Oh. Well, I'm an idiot to the end. At least it was a good uh, test subject for that one. So it seems the only place we can use errors is down in this underground area. Oh well, it's good. It's still good that we got our powers back. I suppose it is better than not being able to use them at all. I know what you mean. As Eren, our errors is a vital part of our being. Something that's always there. Well, I don't think we can do it. I don't think we can do it. Hmm, a vital part of our being. I've never really thought about Eris that way before. So it depends depends on the people, right? Uh, right. Well, what do we do now? No idea. We're stuck here. First, let's go over what's happened so far. Sure thing. By performing the ride of the session, Charlie has become the Meriness. Correct. The Meriness is an agent of Nerives. Or Nerifest. They say it is the will of Nerifest to purge the world of mankind. I think I like Nerifest a bit more. Charlie was taking, she was taking back the blessing of Nerifest. Let's go with that one then. And we lost our errors right after that. It would seem we need to ascertain what this Nerifest is. Maybe then we'll find the truth. Let's settle then. Oh, you might. You're also full of spirit. I'll be your cheerleader. So, what exactly are we gonna do? Hmm. This must have a plan. <laughs> Everybody else gets a chance to stand up and say something, but not Moses. No. Hmm. What the? Okay, now I can look at it a bit more clearly. <laughs> it's like, what is that? Looks like. Hmm. Kind of remind me of the the lighthouse that we saw in the last episode, I guess. But a bit reddish. Looks like it was attacked or something like that. 
somehow also reminds me of a spaceship, which is kind of weird. But what was that image that just flashed through my mind? Weird. I've never seen that place before. Let's explore this underground area a bit. It's not excellent that we can use our iris here. Are you saying Charlie's power might not extend to this underground area? Perhaps. Or perhaps this place somehow allows us to receive the blessings of Nerifes. Either way, we may be able to find a way out of this situation. This would be nice, right? Well, let's get going then. It's a good thing we happen to wind up here. Well... Indeed, picnics are so much fun, aren't they? So, um, Jiga, why are you here? Yeah, true. Why is she here? Hmm. Oh? What do you mean? Hmm. How come you take uh, talking to us like nothing's happened? Hmm. Because I love all of you so much. What do we what do you want to do with her? We may as well bring her. She's been with us this long. I'm not sure it's a good idea to be dragging around an ordinary civilian with us. I'm not sure it's a good idea to be dragging around an ordinary civilian with us. Oh, then I'll fight along with you. Fight? Can you use Eris, lady? Oh, I'm sure it will work out. Oh no. It will? It's uh, another transition that they did. I'm tickled to be part of the team? What? <laughs> Welcome aboard. I guess we just can't say no. That's good. Finally, we get we have a crew now on our team. Took a while. What is Jay doing? I still still don't know anything about Gruner, so I guess he's a bit. It's a good thing we happen to wind up here, indeed. What are the odds of that? Well, technically, we were all summoned to that place. I'll look at it that way. Everyone got the image in their head, which made them come here. Correct. <laughs> it seems more reasonable to assume that we were all led here by someone. But it, who is this someone? Ooh, confusing babe. <laughs> nice title. Their walk animation is still so weird. This is the highest floor of the castle, the throne room. <coughs> I thought she was. I thought she was wearing a bit more bluish color, but she's still wearing the the dark. F mm, what are they called again? Fediness clothing. Ah, oh, a true heir to the kingdom of Teresis finally takes her place upon this royal seat. Meriness, what is it? 
They are on the fallen lands. Bakana. You mean Sana? The fallen lands? Why would they be there? No answer. They have no idea. Well, technically, we don't have either. And the fallen lands. Chapter 6. Yeah, that's good. I can make that one. Yeah. Oh, there is a safe point right over there. Nice. Just what I needed. That's the place we came from. So it is a new uh, area to explore. Let the investigation begin. We don't know what might happen. Stay alert. Whee! Let's go. Take the path. There's a treasure. We need that one. Apple Gill. Oh, yes. We got what we always wanted. But anyway. Not been that long of an episode, but... Lots of cutscenes. So then, everyone... Thank, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode, and I hope to see you guys next time. Mm, bye!